Casey the Caterpillar. Written by Barbara Brand. Illustrated by Barbara Walls. One day, a beautiful butterfly flew down into the garden. She was looking for a branch to lay her eggs on. She sat on the gate that was closed. She waved her feelers in the breeze and gazed at the trees and flowers in the garden. She saw a tree with a long branch with lots of leaves on it. That branch is just what I need for my egg, she said. She flew to the tree and laid an egg. Then she flew away happily. Soon, a very tiny caterpillar hatched from the egg. It was Casey the caterpillar. She opened her mouth wide and looked around to find something to eat. Casey saw lots of tasty green leaves. She was very hungry, so she started to eat the leaves. Her wide open mouth was very big. As she ate the leaves, she crawled across the branch. The more leaves she ate, the fatter she got. Oh dear, she said, I will never, never, never be able to go back to my egg because I am too big now. As she crawled along the branch, she saw a very tall stick standing on the branch. I will crawl to the top of this stick and find out where I am, she said. She climbed to the top of the stick. She saw that she was in a tree. I want to explore this tree, she said. She slid down the stick and along the branch. She saw a piece of twirly curly vine. Yum tum, she said, as she munched on the vine. She went on crawling along the branch. She came across a leaf that was curled up like a tunnel. She couldn't see anything in it, but she didn't go inside. Then Casey saw a short stick. She crawled to the top, but she couldn't see very far, so she slid down again. She saw a stick hanging down from the branch. I wonder where that stick goes, she thought. She climbed down the stick. She found herself under the branch. I can't stay here, she said. So she crawled back up the branch again. A little further down the branch, she saw a gum nut growing there. She crawled up to look inside. It looked just like a cup. It was empty. How disappointing, she thought. One day, Casey the caterpillar met a ladybug covered in spots. Who are you? asked the ladybug. I'm Casey the caterpillar, she replied. Who are you? I am a ladybug, said the ladybug. It was nice to meet you. And away she flew. Next, Casey met a green grasshopper with his long legs bent up underneath him. Who are you? asked the grasshopper. I am Casey the caterpillar. Who are you? I am Gobbler the green grasshopper. It was nice to meet you. And away he jumped. Then Casey saw a possum sitting on the branch with his possum tail hanging down below the branch. Who are you? asked the possum. I'm Casey the caterpillar. Who are you? I am Percy Possum, said the possum. Can I see your beautiful tail? asked Casey, leaning over the branch. Watch out! Don't fall! yelled Percy Possum, but it was too late. Casey leaned too far and fell off the branch. She grabbed hold of Percy Possum's tail and carefully climbed back onto the branch. Thanks for helping me with your tail, she giggled. Next, Casey met a small snake. Who are you? asked the small snake. I am Casey the Caterpillar, replied Casey. Who are you? I am Sammy the Small Snake, said the snake as he slithered away. Then Casey saw a kangaroo with something in her pouch. Suddenly, pop, a joey's head appeared. Casey crawled down the hanging stick to get a better look. Isn't he cute, she said. By this time, Casey was nearly at the end of her branch. 
there were no more leaves to eat and she was feeling very sleepy. She wanted to spin a cocoon. She looked for a twig to hang her cocoon from. There was one at the very end of the branch. Just what I need, Casey thought sleepily. <sighs> she stretched herself as tall as she could and caught hold of the twig. She used her special glue to attach herself. Then she spun her cocoon and went to sleep. After a big sleep, she emerged as a beautiful butterfly. The butterfly looked around. She saw the gate and the branch and the leaves and all of the sticks. I need somewhere to lay my egg, she said. So she flew down to the next branch and laid her egg. Then she flew off happily into the sunset. And that is the end of the story of Casey the Caterpillar.